On the scene interrogations being conducted by personnel from the Ghana National Fire Service in one of the now burnt offices of the newly built Tebibian police station. It is suspected to have been set ablaze by a known arsonist just days before its official commissioning on December 1, 2021. This is part of preliminary assessment since the fire occurred 10 days ago. The entire uh, ceiling has been touched. We're having remnants of the furniture in here also having been bent down. Uh, the wall you know, ha has been blackened from the smoke, the thick smoke um, that engulfed this entire room. Assemblyman for Kwekupanfo Electoral Area, Jonas Tenge, explains how the station was to keep a leash on a series of violent crimes in the area. The security issue is not good over here. We have the issues of Langard, Sanwini, and I can also say that even killing of human beings, it occurred twice. The first one occurred somewhere 2011. And recently, 2019, they killed some, somebody over here. But you will be there, and then people will come and attack the community, and then they will beat them. Okay. So because of that, we call on the municipal to commission this police station for us. And Many of the residents here are shaken. They do not know what or who will be the next victim. We are all afraid because all the people, all of us, we are afraid, like we are inside. <laughs> the reason why I'm afraid is my shop is very near to the police station. If people can burn the police station, they can also come and burn my shop because we don't know what we do to them. Uh, some killing around this Kwakopanvo. We fought on Amasaman before they came and took the dead body. So that was the reason why we thought if uh, uh, the police station, which is, is our uh, security, to benefit and uh, even w it means we some people don't want the police station to come on it means uh, uh, we are at in danger while they call for speedy investigations into the case they want the municipal assembly to expedite measures towards operationalizing the station yeah i want the the authorities to turn their attention quickly for the repair of the 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 police station and when anything happened something happened to you the only place we can assess the police is Amma Samai and Sawamu Kaswa and probably Bobiasi. And when something happened to you right now, to even get a vehicle to get to that place is not easy. So for this thing to be open and be used will go a long way to help with the the people here. Have also experienced robbery issues and other um, domestic violence and, and things like that. Yes, people uh, have been killed here. I witnessed one myself that was dumped just here. Here, there's a garden here. It's a school garden, a uh, school farm. They dumped the person, then a vital part of that person was taken away. So I think all these things call for the police station. So we'll plead with them. They shouldn't look at what has happened and come to our aid and then help the community. Ceiling falling and net to the window peeling off. That's what's left with the most affected room in the suspected case of arson at the police station of Tebibian. After waiting for close to a decade for this police station to be completed, they would have to endure a bit more until investigations are completed and a refurbishment undertaken. Reporting for Joy News, my name is Manuel Kranting.